calculus is a branch of mathematics that deal with study of the rate of change of particles. There are two types of calculus. We have integral calculus and differential calculus. But today we are going to start from the principle of differential calculus. The differential calculus also known as differentiation. Firstly, we are going to look at the first principle of differentiation. That we are going to start from. Differentiation. And then we are going to look at first principle. Under the first principle of differentiation, we are going to look at the we are going to look at the function of y y equal to x squared. That's if y equal to x squared, y is a function. X is also a function. As soon as you plot the graph of y against x, and then you are going to have a curve. Have a curve. This y axis. This also x axis. Now in this curve, we have two points here: point P and point Q. And then, firstly, you are going to take a target to this curve. And then, this target, the aim of this target is to determine the slope of this curve. Therefore. And make it right angle triangle. Let's see this point is point x1 and this point is point x2. That shows that the coordinate here, why this trade this side to this, we have point y1, and then up here is point y2. In this case, the coordinate of P, P is x1, y1, while the coordinate of Q here is x2, y2. Now, recall that in the term the gradient of any curve, there is a unique equation for this. What that equation? That is gradient equal to Delta, delta y over delta x. The delta y means change in y axis. Y delta x means change in x axis. That is gradient equal to y two minus y one over x two minus x one. Now, what is our y2, y1, x2, x1? Now, from here, to, from x1 to x2, the difference between x1 and x2 is known as delta x, that is change in x axis. Why the difference between y2 and y1 is delta y, that means change in y axis. Therefore, y1 is equal to x squared, that is this x squared, and then y2. Now, before you move from y1 to y2, you add something to x, this x. That shows that your x now plus delta x is in bracket, is in square, you square it. Then when you increase the x by the x, you are going to get y2. Therefore, x1 is equal to ordinary x, this x1 is ordinary x, and then, for you to move from x1 to x2, you need to add something to x1. What are you going to add? The x. That means x2 is equal to x plus delta x. Now, input the value to this equation now. Therefore, the gradient, the gradient equal to, what's y 
y2 y2 is x plus the x and see y2 is x plus delta x all in square minus this minus sign what y1 y1 is x squared that's x squared over x2 x2 is x plus delta x that's x plus delta x minus y1 is ordinary x minus x therefore now this gradient let's put it in since it's divide the x that is delta y over delta x equal to now when you expand this that is let's put it in bracket form that mean of square minus x2 over remember that x minus x this one go with this remain delta x therefore delta y over delta x equal to x times x x times x is x square plus x times the x that is x delta x delta x times x plus x delta x plus the x uh, delta x times delta x that's delta x square minus x squared all over delta x that is delta y minus delta x equal to this plus x squared this minus x squared this one go with this and then x delta x plus x delta x that will have 2 x delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. And let's break the division line. When you break the division line, you have delta y over delta x equal to 2x delta x over delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. Because that this one will go with this. This delta x will cancel this square. At the end of the day, we have delta y over delta x equal to 2x plus delta x. Now recall that, let's go back to the graph. As p is moving towards the q, what happened to the delta x? The te delta x is 10 to 0. Hence, your delta y and delta x will change to dy dx. That is, when P is moving towards Q. That is when P is moving towards Q. Therefore, delta x equal to zero. Hence, delta delta uh, delta y over delta x is equal to dy over dx. Therefore, input the value there, and then we have dy over dx equal to 2x plus 0. Because as p is moving towards the q, therefore, dy dx came to, uh, delta y and delta x came to dy dx. And then delta x is 10 towards the 0. Hence, dy over dx is equal to 2x. Let's show that the differential form of this equation, y equal to x squared is 2 x. That's the first principle.